On today's show, Google refines its autonomous bubble car, GM changes the way it uses engineers to develop cars, and could the Lincoln MKC win the North American Utility of the Year Award? All that and more coming right up on AutoLine Daily. This is AutoLine Daily for December 23rd of 2014. Google showed off the first complete prototype of its autonomous bubble car. Note how the latest version has shiny paint, real headlights, turn signals located below the headlamps, bigger mirrors, and a smaller, better integrated LiDAR system mounted on the roof. A decade ago, General Motors was turning out some of the most boring cars in the marketplace like that Malibu. Fast forward to today, and GM is making some of the finest cars that you can buy. So what changed? Mark Royce, head honcho for product development at GM, says that back before the bankruptcy, GM devoted 25% of its engineering workforce to taking cost out of cars that were already on the road. It was all about trying to hit financial targets. And I quote here, Is that really how you want to spend your precious engineering resources, he asks? Today, GM devotes almost all of its engineering resources to developing new products, not trying to squeeze pennies out of existing ones. And I quote again, we take those learnings into the next program and make it far better than the old one, he says. Royce is my guest on an upcoming AutoLine This Week that goes up on our website on January 1st. Okay, all you engine engineers in the audience, listen up. Researchers at the Sandia and Argonne National Laboratories have come up with a breakthrough to predict how temperature and pressure affect chemical reactions in combustion engines. By understanding what's going on at the molecular level, the labs say it'll make it easier to reduce emissions and make engines more fuel efficient. Click the link in today's transcript to get more details about this breakthrough. Still to come, no more sub-$30,000 Mercedes-Benzes, handicapping the MKC's chance of winning the North American Utility of the Year Award and tracking Santa Claus across the world. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone, your journey, our passion, and by Dow Automotive Systems, improving durability and increasing design flexibility with Betamate structural adhesives at DowBetamate.com. General Motors is showing off cool technology it's using to develop new cars. Called the Powerwall, it's made up of 240 square foot glass screens, two 4K 3D projectors, eight computers, and two video processors. The company used it for the Colorado to test out different part designs and configurations in the virtual world before creating expensive physical prototypes. Coming up with ideas for green energy technology is hard, so Toyota is looking for your help. Along with the Electrochemical Society, it's offering a fellowship to young professors and scholars for new ideas and research into green energy technologies. They really want vehicles that can run on alternative fuels. Winners get a grant of no less than $50,000. And again, click on the headline in today's transcript to get that application. Well, we knew this this wasn't going to last. Mercedes made a big splash a couple of years ago when it announced the sub $30,000 CLA. But time marches on. Now the CLA is getting a new base price. $32,000. $425. That's $1,600 more than before when you include destination charges. Okay, even OnStar is getting into the Christmas spirit. Now, with the push of that blue button, you can get real-time updates of Santa's whereabouts on Christmas Eve. And the program is not just for kids. OnStar will also donate a dollar to United Way for each Santa call that it gets. Coming up next, does the Lincoln MKC really have a shot at winning the North American Utility of the Year Award? This might surprise you. 
Dow Automotive Systems, driving solutions in automotive, commercial transportation, and aftermarket with innovative products like Betamate structural adhesives. Lighter, stronger, safer. DowBetamate.com. Earlier this month, the finalists for the North American Car and Truck and Utility of the Year Award were announced. On the car side, the VW Golf, the Hyundai Genesis, and the Ford Mustang made the cut. On the truck utility side, it's the Ford F-150, the Chevy Colorado, and Lincoln MKC. In our upcoming episode of AutoLine This Week, I invited three of my fellow jurors on the show, and in the following clip, we share our impressions of the MKC but I really like the Lincoln MKC. Um, I think they've done a really nice job with the interior. I think it's, uh, it drives really nice. Um, I think it's, it's smooth and um, for what you get for the money, I definitely think it's, it's a great value. Yeah. I agree 100%. I think Lincoln got it right. And Lincoln has been struggling for a long time to figure out what they are and how to do a nice luxury car. I love the Lincoln MKC. Oh, wow, very interesting. Wow. I do. <laughs> I wasn't so hot on it. Um, I love the styling. I think that, that that language works really well. And I think the, the combination of the chrome work and the paint that they use is, is pretty terrific for that thing. I think it's a fantastic car as long as you don't drive the Escape, you know, because it feels, it has a lot of that feel to it to me. It doesn't have that substantial feel of like so. the GLA or the <laughs> Audi, uh, what's it, the uh, Q3. The Q3 <laughs> and things like that. So, I mean, really good car in a lot of ways. I just don't feel like it's into that upper echelon of luxury vehicles quite yet. Yeah, I, I, I thought they did a pretty good job. You know, they've got that uh, continuously controlled dampers on it. Mm -hmm. To me, it doesn't ride like an Escape. And no. uh, uh, I, I think they've done a pretty good job with it as well. So, and it's I, innovative because, you know, they have the, the, the um, shifter is on the dash. You push a button. That's the one thing I always forget. Am I turning it off or shifting it into drive or park, you know? But you get used to that. Uh, yeah, I never got used to it. I don't like that push <laughs> button. And, and part of the reason is I think the buttons feel cheap. I think they should spend a little bit extra money and make those things really feel like kachunka. You're Absolutely. pushing something. I was yeah. going to say, that's probably the only thing that annoys me about the car is the push button. Yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think the interior is really stunning. I really think, uh, I, I just really like it, and um, I think it rides great. Joining me for that show are Joanne Muller from Forbes, Larry Webster from Road and & Track, and Sharon Carty from Autoblog. And as a Christmas treat, you can watch that entire episode on our website, this Thursday. And that not only wraps up today's report, it wraps up all of our AutoLine dailies for the year. The AutoLine crew is taking some much anticipated time off for the Christmas and New Year holidays. We'll be back here on January 5, and we wish you a terrific holiday season as well.